Yo, what's going on? Ajax here, and today we're going to be doing 10 tips to help you improve in Valorant. If you guys have been enjoying the content I've been putting out lately, make sure you check out the channel, subscribe, like the videos. And if you want to stay up to date with everything I'm doing, like when I stream, when my videos are going live and all that, make sure you go follow my Twitter. All right, let's start with tip number one. Tip number one is making sure your settings are optimized, making sure your game runs the best. Um, I'm not going to go over all of them, but I have another video on my channel. You can go check that out to find the right settings. Alright, so tip number two is you got to be conscious of your footsteps. They're very loud in this game, and it'll give away your position very quickly. So in this clip I'm about to play, you'll see when my character moves, a circle will show up around or on the mini-map up here. And that's actually how far away your enemies can hear your footsteps, and you'll see yeah, it's very big. So let's look at that right now. Alright, so as you can see here on the mini-map, the circle is huge. Your enemies can hear your footsteps from so far away. That's why you gotta make sure you're, you're taking advantage of the walk so you don't give away your position. Alright, so for tip number three is, it might seem simple, or if you played Counter-Strike, you're definitely gonna know this, but, but don't walk and shoot. It makes your bullets so inaccurate. In this clip you're about to watch, you'll see how inaccurate it is when I walk and shoot. That, that's pulling down trying to control the recoil too as you can see it was it's pretty wild you're gonna want to make sure you're always standing still when you're shooting I mean walking and crouching and shooting is a little bit better but still very wild but for the best accuracy you're gonna want to make sure you're standing still all right tip number four is learn the sprays for the guns every gun has a spray like it shoots the exact same every time you can learn that and counteract it and control it get nice sprays so for example we'll just look at the the AK spray here that's just shooting it with not pulling down or anything as you can see there they did it again and it's the exact same so you can really learn it and control it so now here's me controlling it As you can see, a lot of those shots got to where I was aiming. And you're just going to want to always be practicing this and get it as tight as possible. And just for one more look at it here, we'll look at the, the Phantom Spray. And then now here's me controlling the Phantom Spray. So yeah, you're always going to want to be practicing your sprays, trying to get to this as consistent as possible. That'll help your accuracy big time. All right, so for tip number five, this one's a big one, and this is crosshair placement. Having good crosshair placement is going to drastically improve your gameplay. We're going to watch some clips here just from the practice range. The first one is me coming around with bad crosshair placement, then the second one will be like good crosshair placement, and you'll just see like the difference in the time to kill. So let, let's take a look at these clips. As you can see, my crosshair is not very good. I'm looking at the ground. And when I see people, I have to go up to them before I can shoot. So now here's here's good crosshair placement. As you can see, as soon as I turn the corner, my crosshair was already at head level. I wasn't looking at the floor. I was expecting them there, so it was a lot easier for me to shoot them, get to their heads right away, and from the kill. All right, tip number six is don't aim down sights when you're shooting. Sometimes if you're watching a long area, it feels better to aim down sights, but if you can learn to not aim down sights, you're going to be a better player just because when you aim down sights, you actually shoot slower. So we'll, I got an example of that here. So this is just in the practice range. Um, aiming down sights. It's, it's not a huge difference, but as you can see, when I'm not aimed down sights, I do in fact shoot faster. So you're just going to want to always practice to like try not to aim down sights. All right. Tip number seven is know the maps, know the callouts. Like, if you're in a game and someone makes a call out and you have no idea where that's at, I mean, it's gonna cost you the round, and that's huge. So you can head over to this site, and it has all the maps and all the callouts, and just study it. Make sure you know the maps, like know the common angles, like where to expect people. So you're definitely gonna want to go check out this site. 
and just learn the maps if you don't already know them. All right, for tip number eight, you're just you're just gonna want to know all the hero's abilities, like who you're playing against, what their abilities are, and a good way to do this is just in the hero slack before match starts. Just click on the different heroes and click through their abilities, learn them. You know, identify them in game, what abilities they've used. Just know who you're playing against and expect their abilities to come. Tip number nine is just know the timing of the game. Know how long it takes to defuse the spike, how long it takes to plant. Once it's planted, how long do you have till it blows up the buy round? Just be aware of the timing of the game and take full advantage of it. You don't always have to be rushing on rounds. I know that's a big problem in like Counter Strike. A lot of low ranks will just rush, but take your time and just be aware of the timing of the game. And tip number 10, the final tip is you gotta practice, practice, practice. I mean, if you want to get better, you have to play the game every day. Spend time in the practice range, just playing the game. You got to make an effort every day if you want to actually improve. So even on the days you don't want to hop on, you know, hop on. Just in the practice range for 20 minutes, 10 minutes to play a match, you know. Consistency is key to getting improvement. So those are my 10 tips to help you improve in Valorant. I don't know how this video looks because I had to record it a pretty weird way so you guys could get the face cam and like the, the commentary over the clips. So hopefully it turns out good. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, check out my channel, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And remember to go follow my Twitter. Thanks for watching. See ya.